Hey guys, welcome back to the Lazy River. Today we're going to be doing a video on turtle substrate in the aquarium. I hope that you're all having a nice time out there, as nice as you can during the pandemic, and that you're all staying very safe. What is the best substrate that I can use in my turtle enclosure? It all depends on a couple different factors. Number one, how much do you want to clean? And number two, what kind of turtles are you keeping? Actually, there could be probably three or four, but let me just go over it. So the main thing is, what kind of turtles are we keeping? Are we keeping sliders? Are we keeping soft shell turtles? Are we keeping some snappers? What is it? I know that sliders seem to be the most common pet turtle in the pet industry. And from my own personal experience, I will say that you need no substrate. Why don't you need any substrate? I mean, look at this tank. It's just super bare, super clean. And of course, I do have a really good filter on it. Now, that will save you some time. You don't always have to have substrate. Some people will say that, well, you know, substrate is going to provide a little bit of natural feeling to the turtle, and it's nice because they like to dig around in the dirt or sand. I understand that, and that's cool. And in the past, I have utilized sand and dirt and different things in the turtle tank. But for me personally, I'm going at it with this perspective. I do not have a lot of time to clean. You know me, I have about 13 tanks. So cleaning is a thing that I like to minimize the most. And what better way to do it than utilizing a bare bottom tank? Basically, what happens here in this bare bottom tank that I have is I have the intake here. It's sucking up all the debris, transporting it through the filter, and then spitting the clear water from the side right here. If you do utilize a substrate, the most important thing that you need to remember is that you don't utilize a substrate that your turtles can essentially eat, meaning gravel, rocks, and things of that nature. You basically want your substrate to be bigger than what your turtle can eat. So let's take that into perspective. If a pebble is that big, this guy is going to be able to scarf that down without an issue. And if he does, that could cause some blockages and some internal problems, and we don't want that. We want to try to keep our pet turtles healthy and happy. So if I were going to go with a substrate, I would probably utilize a fine grain play sand. You can find those at Home Depot. And those are some of the sands that I utilize in some of my aquariums. Right here is a sand that I utilize in one of my planted tanks can see that it's kind of a coarse grade. Even if a turtle was going to eat it, they would most likely be able to pass it through. But if you go down, and please don't mind the glare, you'll see that we have a finer grade right here. And these sands will be good for turtles. Either way, they should be able to pass it if they eat it. And turtles aren't always going out there with the idea that, yeah, I'm gonna eat this sand. No. It just so happens that sometimes they see things that are in the substrate and they like to eat it. Me personally, like I said before, I like to utilize a bare bottom. It's much more simple. If you don't want to worry about the sand, you can try some flat river stones. Anything is possible. I've heard from other hobbyists that it's a good idea to keep stones around because it kind of insulates the tank, if you will. Now, I haven't found that to be true. I just feel that the turtle is going to look around, see the rocks, and kind of feel safe and whatnot. 
Uh, one thing that I have noticed, and it's kind of funny, is in the nighttime or in the very early morning when you come out here, you'll see these guys kind of just sitting at the bottom of the tank around the rocks. And they look like little rocks or cheeseburgers, if you will. Yeah, that's right, cheeseburgers. It's kind of funny. They're like cheeseburgers with legs. That's my way to look at it. But, yeah, I mean, substrate in the turtle tank, it's not really necessary unless you are keeping some soft shells. Soft shell turtles like to hang about in the sand. And I always think it's a good idea, but if you're keeping something like sliders, like I have, I mean, not really a big deal. Just kind of go with the flow. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or message me on Instagram. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video of The Lazy River. I hope that you're all doing well. Don't go crazy and stay lazy. Adios.